two weeks ago, I outlined a methodology for not cheating. Last week, I outlined my thoughts for choosing yourself and indicated very clearly that if we chose ourselves and made ourselves important, then we would accomplish most everything that we wanted to, and over and above that, we would be feeling good because we would see ourselves as part of that overall process. Today, I want to talk to you about summer, about graduations, about parties, about anniversaries, about weddings, about vacations. These are all really wonderful things. And they happen all the time, but because summer is warmer and more open, we're more aware, and the fact that most people also take vacation during the summer because of the weather. All of these pressures are upon us, and here we are at the same time trying to lose weight. The first thing that strikes me because of conversations that I have is the fact that if people are ambivalent about losing weight, they're ambivalent because they see it not as something that will make them happier and more in control of their lives, but missing out. I want you to think about this. Children have the summer off. Basic reason, they need an opportunity to refresh themselves, but also when school originally developed, summer was the time that children were required to help out on the farm. Classrooms were so hot that they couldn't sit there. And so summer vacation became what we are now used to. The majority of us are adults. We love summer, but we're not children anymore. I've taught you that only children can have fun that adults have no ability to have fun. And so if we are going to be successful at losing weight and enjoying the weight loss, as well as maintaining the weight loss, then we're gonna have to deal with the child within us. That child is literally a child. Its only understanding of the real world comes through your emotions. And because it is a child, it has no meaningful understanding of consequences. It wants what it wants when it wants it, it doesn't want to wait, it doesn't want to hear any excuses, and will act and behave as a child if it doesn't get its way. Several weeks ago, we talked about going into the bathroom, looking at the person who looks back at you in the mirror, and the feedback that I received suggested that many of you were uncomfortable having conversations 
with the image in the mirror. If you're going to deal effectively with the child within you, and you want that child to be happy so that that child enriches your life, then you're going to have to have those conversations. And one of the things that I tried to get across last week was that if it's in your head, it's not real. In order for it to be real, you have to literalize, literally verbalize it. I almost laughed at myself when I caught my speech and I'm verbalizing it to you because I want you to know that by verbalizing it, it's much easier to deal with it. Thinking about it takes you off in many directions. Start talking to the child within you. Tell that child you love it. Tell that child you have to limit it sometimes because if it goes out of control, it's going to have major consequences in your life and then both of you will be unhappy. Love that child. Teach that child. Teach yourself. Choose yourself. We'll do more soon. Take care.